Hey, hey everybody! This is Daniel from WeLaunch and today I'm going to present you our new plugin, the WordPress Form Wizard plugin. Um, our WordPress Form Wizard plugin is a very interactive and new way to guide your users through questions and answers to the correct products or a price calculation. We have set up three examples here and you can see a party planner, a shopping guide and a car find. I'm going to show you each three of them in the front end and you can watch later videos also how it is set up in the back end. Um, and we start with the party planner now. So if I click on party planner, that is a custom form wizard here, you will have some cool introduction here with an image and some icons and you can click on the next button. From here it's asking you what is the type of party that you need and you can choose a normal party, a kids party or a teenage party. Uh, you can see from the design here that it's very clear and uh, very easy to understand for your users to what to click on and you can manage everything that you see here directly from the backend. Say you can have images, texts, descriptions, you can also have tool tips and you can have the columns that you want, everything can be managed in the backend. So I'm going to want to have a kids party, so I'll click on kids party here, click on next and you will see what special kids party services do you need. This is a dependent question based on the question before because I would choose to have a kids party. Now it's asking me if I want to have a clown, face painting or a fire show. And you can see here that I can check everything independent. So you can have also multiple answers checked here, because that is not a radio question. I want to have a clown and a fire show and I click on next. And now it's asking me how many guests do you have. Let's say I have 50 guests. You will see here on top right that the price is changing. The price is dependent on the type of party that I have checked. I have checked the kids party and for kids parties the price is 1 euro per guests plus 100 ground fee. That equals $160. Now I click on next and it's asking me if I need any special food or drinks. Let's say I want to have a fantastic cake here. It's asking me what cake do I want and I say I want to have a cookie cake. You can click on next and you see here everything is calculated. You see your final price of $150. Everything is planned and you can save your configuration or asking for a code. When you fill out the form then the user will get his configuration and his price sent via email or you as a customer will get, uh, you as a store owner, will get the same form to ask the customer and call him for a final quote or price. That was everything for the price calculation, but I also want to show you another guide that is using the shopping guide, which is based on WooCommerce, for example. If I click on the shopping guide example, then the very first question is, what are you looking for? You can choose clothing or decor or music, but let's say I want to have some clothing, like I want to have a hoodie or something like that. Click on clothing and on next. And you also see here, for example, that there is a dependent question because it's asking me what type of clothing do you need. We see here now that we also have a short description or a description below the title itself. And you see here in the three answers that there is also a tooltip now. Let's say I want to have t-shirts and I want to have hoodies. I can click on the next button now. And it's asking me if I prefer any color. But I don't really care about the color. I just click on skip because I don't care about that. So now it's showing me every t-shirt and every hoodie that is an assortment of your WooCommerce product categories. You can see here t-shirts, you can see here a long sleeve tee which is a hoodie. You have the short description, the price and I also put in here for example an attribute called the color. So these are the two examples. So we have guided shopping and we also have a price calculation. 
And the last thing that I want to show you is that everything is very easy to set up, but also to maintain in the backend. When you go into the backend, you will have wizard forms. And in wizard forms, you have the car finder, shopping guide and party plan. And from here, you can use this short code to embed the guide wherever you want. And we also made sure that you can put in multiple guides into one page. You can put it into light boxes, pop-ups, etc. You can have it wherever you want. And it's working with every post taxonomy, with every post metadata, or also with custom posts. And just a quick introduction to one of the guides, for example, here you see shopping guide, some statistics on top. You can have multiple options like showing the form at the end and you also see the questions here and have the types, the statistics and everything that you need. From here you can drag and drop, for example, questions, you can edit them, manage the answers and have some custom texts here also at the result page. The setup of all guides is described in another video that uh, we have uploaded in our FAQ section. So if you want to dig more into how to set up a custom guide, then please go to the other videos. One last thing that I want to show you before closing this video is to show you that you can manage everything yourself. We have some general settings like show skip button, have some scroll top functionalities. You can set up the currency signs, US dollars, euro, whatever you want. Uh, you can check change all texts, you can have custom stylings like background colors, text colors, border colors, text alignments. You can also choose what result data you want to show via drag and drop. Let's say I don't want to see the image at the end and I want to do I want to see labels, pricings or colors. You can change that. You can set up custom meters or taxonomies to show and you also have the mail functionality. You can turn off mailing completely or you can hide some custom fields like I do not want to show the company field, the email field, the phone field. Then you can just hide it and here you can also put in the CC receivers, BCC receivers, subject, the text, button text, button URL, but also the email that is sent at the very end. I hope you enjoyed my preview demo and if you have any questions regarding our plugin then yeah just feel free to comment in the comment section below.